All right, guys, we're back for more dropship. Let's do some more dropshipping. Whew. We are very concerned about the ability of the new Apache assault fighter you encountered on your last mission. Sat Recon have pinpointed the location of a wing of these new fighters, and we have devised a plan to steal Ooh. them. We are unable to get any of our dropships close because of a heavy SAM presence around the enemy base. Therefore, we must launch a ground oh boy. One of our special forces teams has placed charges around the pilots' barracks to take care of the enemy pilots when the attack begins. This will ensure the fighters remain grounded. Kreutzler is in charge of the assault, and has once again requested that you support his team on this mission. Your task is to escort engineering teams and APCs and CCVs to the enemy base. There they will modify the Apaches and deactivate the SAM network, allowing you to fly them out. You will be driving a granite heavy tank, designed for exactly this type of mission. The granite has excellent weapons options, including a SAM launcher. Its reactive armor will also offer considerable protection. Make sure that the convoy makes it to the base in one piece. The capture of the Apache aircraft is essential if we are to gain an advantage over Wu's forces. You're giving me a tank. <laughs> These things look like pieces of crap. How are they advanced? Oh, I'm loving the silence. the asset. Falling back to the pickup zone. Good luck, guys. Bring back one of those birds for us. This is Kilo One. We have successful touchdown and are unloading the convoy now. We're going to make ourselves scarce before it gets too hot to handle around here. I have a tank. We are off the ramp and heading... Uh-oh. We have multiple targets inbound. Where did they all come from? Protect the convoy at all costs. Damn it! One of the NPCs is down. The convoy is more vulnerable now. Everyone just drive. Rubber two, provide cover as much as you can. This convoy must get through. Slow and steady through here. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like this one bit either. I'm not picking up anything on the scanner. Easy now, Bravo 2. You go first. What the hell?
frick is he going? Can be any more friggin' useless. My tank's about to blow up. That's the kill. Wow, I just about blew myself up. That's nice. Our systems are getting beat up. Chrysler, can you hear me? Come in, Chrysler. I hear you, Battle Command. What happened to the comms? The Chinese seem to have a satellite killer. Does that one of our birds? I guess your little invasion must have upset them. Bravo 2, I need you to get to higher ground. It looks like they have turrets protecting the base. What I need is some health. You will need to use the long-range cannon on that tank to pick them off before they pose a threat to the convoy. It won't be easy, but that convoy is relying on you, Bravo 2. Let's get a guy with no artillery training to use the, t the cannon on a tank. We're at the Jeez. designated point, Battle Command. I have marked the turrets as primary targets. Target down! Okay, Bravo 2, get 
Get yourself into one of those Apaches and head to a safe location. The Apache should be pre-programmed with the necessary coordinates. Come on, let's see what this monster can do. Good work, Bravo 2. Now that we have some of the Apache aircraft to study, we can find out what sort of advantage the enemy may have. Bring those birds home. I still say it was that crap. The capture of the Apache fighters in one piece is a huge coup for the UPF. These craft not only allow us to see the sort of technology the Chinese have developed, but also to test the Apache against the UPF assault class fighter. However, the loss in communications has not yet been explained. It appears our comm satellite over that region has been destroyed. We are unsure how this occurred, although we believe that Field Marshal Wu must have developed a new weapon. We need to find it and destroy it. The hunt is on. Yay. Believe anyways, I'm not entirely sure. On to the next.